Good morning, praise the Lord. Today, 5th November, uh, I'll talk a little more about uh, Luke. Uh, uh, yesterday, by mistake, I, I said uh, 4th October, but now we are already in November. Today, we'll talk a little more about Luke. Luke was evidently a faithful servant of Christ. He shared Paul's labors in evangelism and uh, church planting. He was the first of the noble line of medical missionaries, following the great physician and seeking to meet human need in body and soul. He accompanied Paul right from the beginning of his first missionary journey. He faced all the difficulties along with Paul and was faithful till the end. In words filled with poignancy, Paul records that only Luke was with him as he faced martyrdom in his last imprisonment. We see this in 2 Timothy 4, 11. We feel such pity for uh, Paul. Luke was a steadfast friend to Paul, sharing his victories and defeats in spiritual conflict. He shared danger, affliction, and imprisonment with the apostle. To his friendship under God, we vow the detailed account in Acts of Paul's ministry recorded by Luke for all generations. Some see the imprint of Paul's deep appreciation of the Lord as the universal savior in Luke's portrait of Christ. Luke was a cultured and educated man. God always prepares uh, his people for their uh, own unique contribution to his work. Luke's style is elegant and with his rich vocabulary, he brings forth the wonderful portrait of Jesus Christ. Luke's gospel is the most beautiful book ever written. Please read it. I told you yesterday also. He was deeply interested in individuals. His immediate aim in writing his books was to give Theophilus an ac accurate account of the ministry of Jesus on earth and its continuation after his ascension. He wanted to confirm Theophilus in his faith and thus help him spiritually. Luke had profound human sympathy. He delights to portray the Lord Jesus with a ministry for the whole world and not just Israel. He emphasizes Christ's care for the poor, the humble, and despised. Sufferers in mind and body were touched by the powerful and gentle hand of Christ. Luke clearly was deeply attracted by the grace of the Lord to the underprivileged, and this reflects in every page of the Gospel. Luke was an accurate historian. He had carefully investigated and accurately researched the whole course of the Lord's ministry from the oral testimony of the eyewitnesses and all written accounts which were available. Guided by the Holy Spirit, he presented them in an orderly manner. The aim was to give Theophilus every confidence that the faith he had embraced rested on a sure foundation of historical facts. When we read this, we can also have that assurance. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for teaching us about Luke and his writings. Lord, please help us to be faithful and truthful to your ministry. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.